Hello, just a short clip to show off uh, a weekend project, or actually uh, it's Friday, I spent the afternoon working on it. It's uh, from a, a friend of mine, had this sitting out in his barn. It's a Zenith Transoceanic Royal 3000-1. It was very, very grungy, um, very crusty inside and out, and of course it didn't work. I should have uh, I should have taped while I was working on it, because it was a pretty interesting uh, beast once I had it all apart and had the chassis out. But, uh, as you can see, right now we're listening to uh, WBCQ, The Planet, out of Monticello, Maine, on shortwave. Dial light works. Van selector's nice and smooth. Let's see if we can find WWV. There's WWV out of Fort Collins, Colorado. AM broadcast band. Being a philanthropist, being business, isn't there some gathering once a year or something? Being an entrepreneur. And so, FM. Sun comes up, you know, the corner of us. 436STOP. Coffee with the Cop was just announced yesterday. It'll be Sounds back great. Saturday, March 5th. At trouble Lucan or Basic Trouble Fort Works. Wayne. Coffee with the Cop is a program aimed at advancing the practice of community policy through. FMAFC works. Of course, the uh, built-in antenna. Let's uh, let me go ahead and show inside this thing. We'll shut her down. One thing I did have to do: he did not have the original power adapter, and I didn't have any uh, of the small. Oh, what are they? Five or six thirty second? No, no, they're. Uh, well, this is an eighth inch. Right, and uh, what was originally in here was the next size smaller. My mind's blanking, so I had to replace that connector. And it's a weird thing on this radio. The whole set uses PNP transistors, and I don't know if that's why they did it or not, but the chassis, the shell, the metal, the outside, which is normally negative, is positive. So the radio is actually a positive ground. So I had to wire up a, a wall wart sitting over there plugged in. Let's uh, let's close it up a second. I might hit that with some silicone to loosen her up a bit. This has the antenna that collapses and becomes a handle waveguide, which a wave magnet, which they called it, which is a ferrite antenna for AM <coughs> and uh, long wave. This actually has below the AM broadcast band. Battery pack, some of the guts. The rest of the guts, see it's in pretty good shape. A little bit of corrosion going on down here from leaky batteries. You know, all these old radios have had that happen at one time or another. I did have to slightly bend this guide, this protector, protector for the connector out a little bit so it would uh, accommodate the bigger connector wire that back in. But then, like I said, chassis is positive on this. That's backwards from what you're used to. And then I had to tweak a few things. Went through and uh, did some band alignment. And uh, of course cleaned all the switches and contacts. So it is uh, rocked back to life. That was kind of fun. Yeah. This battery pack back in here. Not the best case design. I never really did too many things very cleanly back in the... Uh, I have to check and see when this radio was built. 60s maybe? 60s or 70s? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. It's heavy. It takes nine D-cell batteries. Has the little... Uh, Little uh, gray line guide here, time zones, 
a little uh, dial a map for figuring out what time it is on somewhere in the world. <laughs> oh, and it has the documentation in here, the logs, the station logs and all that. I'm not going to pull that out. It's a real tight fit and I don't want to damage it. So anyway, there you go. Zenith Transoceanic FM Multiband AM. And it's the, uh, it's got the model number printed on it somewhere. Well, I thought it did. Maybe I'm blind and I just can't see it, or maybe it's on the back. <laughs> yeah. Transoceanic FMAM Multiband Royal 3000 1. That was a pleasure to work on. All right, that's it.